third grade, and he's earned three letters. His most memorable moment in his winning state for football is last year. He has special thanks to mom, dad, his family, Joe Link, for always being there for him, and no matter what. The coaches for always pushing him to do his best, his friends for making things fun, and the memories of, of his two brothers, Andrew and Kean, for being the best brothers he could ever have. He also wants to thank God because without him, he wouldn't be here today. Our next senior is Spencer Clampett, the son of Ed and Patty Clampett. He's been playing this game since fifth grade. He's earned three letters. His most memorable moment is winning the state championship last year. He has special thanks to his mom first and foremost because she's always been there for him. Next, he'd like to thank his coaches. They've always been through the thick and thin with him and some of the greatest people he's ever known. And he can't forget his sister, Steve, and his grandparents. He'd like you to know HP football rules. The next individual up is Mr. Taylor Dees, the son of Rick and Gail Dees and Leah and Dwayne Cayley. He's been playing this game for eight years, and he's earned four varsity letters. His most memorable moment was winning state last year, and he'd like to thank his parents for everything they've done for him. The rest of his family for all the support and all his friends for all the fun times. Brad and Brenda, he'd also like to thank you for putting up with him for all these years. And last, his coaches for teaching him everything and making him the person he is today. Our next two seniors are Billy and Chris Hendricks, the sons of Dan and Pam Hendricks. They've been playing this game for eight years and have both earned letters. Billy three and Chris four. Billy's most memorable moment was winning state last year. He liked to thank his parents for always being there for him and his coaches for pushing him to be the best he can be. He also wants to thank all you fans for coming out and supporting us. Last, he'd like to thank the cheerleaders for doing his chair before every game. Thank you, everyone. Chris's most memorable moment was winning the state championship. Chris would also like this simple statement. He has special thanks to everyone for everything. Holden Hould is our next senior. He is the son of Nate Stacy Hould. He's been playing this game for nine years and has earned three letters. His most memorable moment was winning state last year. He'd like to have special thanks to his parents for having me around and pushing me to be better. His brother and sister for teaching him to ignore distractions. And his coaches for all they have done to make him a better person and coaching us to the state championship. Our next senior is Lucas Knight. All right, we're going to bump ahead one to Joe Medina. Joe Medina is the son of Carolyn Doug Medina. He's been playing the game for eight years and has earned three letters. His most memorable moment is also winning the state championship last year. He has special thanks for his coaches and all the wonderful years of Huntley Project. He'd like to thank everybody. Mr. Wano and Mr. Sam for always pushing him. His parents for always pushing him and also believing in him. And most of all, he'd like to thank his best friend in the whole school, Joe Stump. You rock, girl. And HP football rules. AJ Nelson is our next senior. He is the son of Jay Nelson and Stuart Lawson. He's been playing the game for eight years and has earned two varsity letters. His most memorable moment was winning state last year, but also getting knocked out in his eighth grade year. He has special thanks to his whole family for supporting him, but most of all, he'd like to thank the, the students and the coaches for making the most or the man he is today. Let's finish off the season correctly, boys. Shane Oberg is our next senior. He is the son of Cindy and Shane Oberg. He's been playing the game for eight years and has earned one varsity letter. His most memorable moment was catching a varsity pass in the Big Tipper game this year. He would like to thank his friends and family for supporting him all these years and his coaches for making him faster and stronger and a player in this great game. Our next two seniors are Casey Waldhauser and Jordan Waldhauser. We have two sets of twins this year on our high school football team. Casey's been playing the game for eight years. Jordan has also, and they both earned three letters. Casey's most memorable moment was winning state football in his junior year. He has special thanks to his parents, his family, and all their support, and the coaches for everything they do. Jordan also has a memory of winning state last year as a junior, and he would like to thank everyone. But most of all, he'd like to thank his family for all their support, and his coaches and friends for always pushing him to do his best. And if you know Lucas, Lucas is last. 
Looks like Lucas has found somebody to walk him onto the field. <laughs> Lucas Knight is the son of Carol Quinn and Ron Kip. He's been playing great years and he's earned three letters. His most memorable moment was winning the state championship in 2008. Lucas would like to thank his mom, Ron, his brothers Kyle and Logan for everything they've done for him. He would especially like to thank his coaches. If it wasn't for you, I would not be the player and person I am today. It has been a pleasure knowing and playing with all you young men and coaches throughout my life. And he wants everybody to remember, the little fire never hurt a red devil. That is our class of seniors for the Huntley Project football team. Thank you, gentlemen. Go ahead and shake it up. At this time, if we could have the following individuals meet Coach Sandy at midfield, we have one more.